my name is Maria Sparks with Cork and Platter and today I'm going to show you how to make a low calorie cheesesteak sandwich. So the first thing we're going to do is get our roll ready and um, if you can find a low carb roll uh, that's great. Whole wheat roll is always better for you. Um, today we have a, a low carb roll and we're going to slice it three quarters of the way open and then we're going to put it on our plate ready to serve. And then what we're going to do is get all our meat and our veggies together and saute them up. Our meat has already been cooked and this recipe is for one sandwich. Cheese steak, onions, green peppers, and mushrooms. And what we're going to do with a little salt and pepper and olive oil, and we're going to add our veggies right to the pan. We've got green peppers, poblano peppers. I love a little jalapeno for a kick. And you can do anything. You could put even a little bit of chipotle pepper um, paste in there for if you like a smoky flavor. Then I put some caramelized onions. I made those ahead of time. This is about a quarter of an onion and um, a small onion. And I sauteed it with a little olive oil on low heat until it got nice and golden. I'm sauteing that with my meat. Then I've got mushrooms. And I use just baby portobello mushrooms. I love them, they're a little heartier and uh, they're meatier. That is about three mushrooms sliced and sauteed. And we just get it all incorporated into the pan. Now, I like to put my shape my meat in the pan the same shape as how I'm going to put it in the bun. And the reason why I'm doing this is because instead of using cheese sauce, which is traditionally what you do with Philly cheese steak, we're going to do a shredded provolone. Provolone is the cheese that goes into the sauce, but butter and cream also go into the sauce. And this is something that we're trying to avoid. So to get the rich creaminess of the cheese, but not all the fat from the other ingredients. We're going to take the shredded provolone and we're going to um, put it directly onto the meat and the veggie. And that way, you just put it right on the top of your sirloin and veggies. And then, a little trick to make it melt is you take a lid and you turn off the heat to very, very low and you just put the lid on top of it. Then we'll just pick up everything and put it straight into the sandwich. So now we're going to check and see how the cheese is doing. Oh yeah, this looks great. Now it's a little tricky, but so we're going to open the roll and pick up the entire piece of meat with cheese. And that's really the cheese is supposed to help it stay together. Here we go. And that is how you make a low calorie cheese steak. Mm -hmm.